Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, uh, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the advent of lockdown, saving your disaster campaign. We're in episode number 10 and it is time for Operation Twisted Sword, where we're going to continue saving this very unsavable campaign. Today we're trying to get uh, Dr. Holly Johnson, an engineer and 79 Intel, out of Indonesia. In order to do so, I assembled the... Not necessarily finest of the fine, but uh, whatever scraps we had uh, left over, a couple of sergeants, a corporal, and one decent soldier called a Vandenberg Hunt. Uh, uh, we put uh, blue screen rounds on everyone because they are overpowered, and we put a lot of grenades on, it, uh, on the remaining soldiers because if you can't hit anything, it is actually good to at least remove the cover. That makes it easier to not hit anything. Okay. Hashtag sarcasm off. Uh, we are now uh, going into the mission and I hope that I could actually pull it off with um, uh, zero losses, maybe even flawless, please. Let's see. All right, and we are landing. Uh, look at them just jumping out uh, of the Sky Ranger. Pretty brave, if you ask me. Anyways, we just um, entered the landscape looks like a pretty long run to get to that car but we got some high ground right here and we're even starting in high ground not too bad I think we can work with that let's use haunt to uh, find out where the first pack is located Aggressive move in the first round, because why not? I'm all over it. Moving up with our Grenadiers. No need to ask twice. Sniper uh, gets in position and I would like to put the second sniper onto this rooftop there. That way we have some Pretty good uh, fire angles. Also, we're not losing too much time. Because if you have multiple snipers kind of hanging back, you're, you're at the initial risk of losing momentum when you actually need to leave. Continuing to move a bit closer. And there we go. That's kind of a dance floor. Not sure why the Archon is dancing with the Mutant. But it is hilarious if you think about it. Uh, that guy doesn't have legs. And kind of spins around. And from all of the aliens, I don't know about you, but I think Mutants have probably the worst rhythm. So I can only uh, see them moving their muscular body a bit. Anyways, up here we got a uh, gatekeeper and I think it was three code, uh, codices, so we got to be a bit careful with that pack. Solid copy. Moving up. What's our hack reward? It's always important to keep uh, that at least partially in mind. Concealment. Squad immediately quits concealment and nope, thank you, we don't need that. Pretty bad hack rewards. Getting it done. All right, moving over to here. Eyes on a hostile patrol. That explains where the where the other patrol, uh, patrols are. And let's take our high ground up here. Plus we're moving our sniper forward. The reason why I'm uh, playing that aggressive is usually on timed, uh, on VIP missions, the timer gets pretty close towards uh, the end of the mission. Gotta be careful. First pack of enemies right there. We're definitely cornered here all right 
there is the priest. That's good. Mm. Knowing that we do have a gatekeeper, I'll uh, save the acid grenade. But this here could be the right play for now. Takes away a lot of the cover options and it should hit everyone without breaking the rooftop. There we go. Nice little shredding effect. That's why you get heavy armor. That's 21 hit points and a lot of shredding on top of it. Very nice. Good. So much for the overwatch. So much for the overwatch. Hmm. Let's see if we're jumping down that will not trigger anything. Just want to make sure we're being okay. Good. Let's start to slowly move up. Moving up here should not trigger anything, but it will give us a phenomenal view for all of the other parties involved. That's a kill on the Mac. Easy enough. Moving down here, freeing up room and also positioning ourselves really n Oh my gosh, that was bad. What's the chance of giving everyone concealment again? I want the bonus 19%. Yeah, that's not going to work out. Nice, we can hit the gatekeeper. That would be nasty because we can theoretically stun him. I like to think that that is worth it. So we're starting with it. Don't worry about the others down here. There we go, the stun. That was very important. I don't want to deal with him next turn. Uh, the reason why I said don't worry is we're just going to teamwork an action over. This can now deal with both of them, purifier included. So I'm still trying to find the best place to to deal with all of uh, the codices. There is no absolutely right answer to it. If 
before we're doing that though let's spread out because I don't want to um, deal with a psionic bomb that would be a kill and I'm inclined to almost take that one to be honest This here should set him up to be killed. All right, purifier uh, down. That is good. Like the idea of spreading out even further. That's a 50 50. Ah. This here will be most likely a kill. Yep. You can't handle me. We could take two shots or keep it. Uh, we're continuing to. Keep our blue screen rounds and I'll just use the grenade which I'm most likely not going to use anyways so we're softening him up really nicely the priest will die next turn he's probably going to use stasis or mind control stasis mind control That's going to be the psionic bomb. Hitting three. Yep, I expected that that might happen. And a single overwatch, okay. Okay, that might tri might trigger Overwatch. Honestly speaking, I don't care. Their aim is not really good and he couldn't have crit me with Overwatch. What I do care about is uh, whether or not we're being mind controlled. move over here we're going to trigger so we got to keep that wall here as a blocking uh, as a vision blockage moving up mainly because we got to deal with the big boy up here this is nicely going to shred almost all of his armor moving into full cover should not trigger There's a nasty clone. Not that much I can de uh, do about it. As you order, Commander. 
let's see if we can kill the big boy. Uh, I can't. Well, I can. I can and I should probably kill the big boy up here. Let's go for Banish. Nice little hit. Miss, come on, one more hit. Very nice. There we go. That was good. Moving in to cover. Fortunately, we can't hit both of them. It's a bit wasteful uh, to use another grenade. But we did not have the option to move, reload and shoot. Good. Who needs the aid protocol the most? I would probably say up here just in case and although that is a 50 percent chance uh, to actually deal 13 damage i don't know you know we might end up with one more enemy so instead we're going to overwatch Dealing with two of them means we're taking one shot, just like we're doing now, into half cover. Oh, this is, by the way, the most trollish uh, thing that I've seen. We're triggering another pack because he has sh just shot him through the roof. All right. Holy shit, what a strange turn. This is 100% kill. Thanks to our advanced repeater. And we're getting rid of the codex completely. Can even hit them and uh, take them out of cover. I think that's fair. Running the risk of triggering another pack. Straight up launching a grenade through the wall. Free reload, but oh, not a free reload, my mistake. We can overwatch. In terms of healing, let's make sure haunt here is topped off. Are we going to be greedy and go for the loot? Probably not. Set moving into full cover. Just out of curiosity. Not good enough of a chance. Closing the door. Back into the shadows.
and moving up here. Overwatch and just just for fun let's overwatch as well. They should not be able to move and shoot. Oh I forgot about uh, that one enemy right there. So much for our overwatch. Alright, we're taking quite a bit of damage. That's a double move. And although we lost that loot, I think overall it was the right uh, turn. Starting to heal ourselves. There's the nice execution. Well done. Moving up further, we're slowly but surely running out of time, so I gotta hurry up. Although we're in constant, constant battles right here. Again, moving into cover. And that's a solid kill. We know the last pack is back here. So how do we want to go about it? How do we want to go about it? I think we're taking the high ground. Next turn, I will start attacking them. In the meantime, we're moving up as far as we can. And we're down to seven turns, six actually. Still got a claymore or two, so this here will make sure that they're almost completely exterminated. Just one of them will survive that explosion. And I might say that he's going to survive it heavily injured. Plus he does not know where we're coming from, so we might be able to kill him next turn. This here is our exit. There is no view through that building. Absolute. Meaning we can absolutely start sprinting through all of this here. Could maybe move up to here and take a shot at us. I don't want to risk that. Move to there, and there. Good. He's running in uh, in the open. Like I said, he has no idea where we're at. Moving up. Lightning hands. Wow, well, that's a nice hit. And another shot. Down. Only the best. 
All right, moving, moving. I will reposition. Moving up there, reload. And we're going to see reinforcements as soon as we're freeing the VIP. Just exactly why you see that I'm currently not doing that. But we're at the point where we might need to do the hack. We only got four more turns left over. Oh, perfect. Enemy protocol permanent 20 uh, increase of the hacking set. There you go, buddy. I promised you good soldiers. You just got 20 hacking on top of your normal hacking set. Well, that is the very best option that you could see. Pretty rare to simply get it. VIP. Begins to charge towards the exit. Moving on target location. Two tweet. And I mean, to be honest, everyone else can exit by now. Reload, reload, overwatch, overwatch, overwatch. Nice little overwatch. There are the reinforcements. I'm not sure if we even want to deal with the reinforcements, to be honest. Yes, it would be from a strict optimization perspective, it would be favorable to do it because we would gain some extra experience. But it's also a matter of time and I don't have i rather play another mission and bring you more content instead of absolutely optimizing it. The campaign is not that ruined that I would need to resort to um, reinforcements farming. So got an excellent rating but not a flawless one. was a pretty um, solid uh, fight in the middle but uh, yeah we got unlucky couldn't kill all of them, had an added pack, and at the end, we did okay. And we're back. Let's take a good look at our troops. Only got one promotion, and unfortunately, 19 days in the mad bay. That is really unfortunate, but we got revival protocol, and he now also has a 100 hack, which is great. I love to hear that. Got a couple of codex brains and an engineer, a plus 80 intel. The engineer is good. We can certainly use him. Unstaffed engineer. How about we're putting that guy in here? 50% reduction. Well, to be honest, we don't need that. Uh, we much rather need resistance contacts. So we're back to nine contacts thanks to that engineer. Can even get it into power relay if needed. Yeah, the more important part was the intel anyways. Don't need a facility lead. We can just expand if needed. Good. What do we really need? Um, Alarium, Alloys. I think we got that over here. And, oh wow, covert action completed, Edgar and Poe got a promotion, we reduced uh, the avatar progress by two, very, very nice, I mentioned it beforehand, what's this here, additional damage with the swords, that's cool, but not absolutely needed, I think instead I'll help you and get another promotion going. 
So how about we're putting him in here and who need who really does need a promotion? Mm, I think we need a specialist that's being promoted. That's 11 days in the sick bay though. The major is almost promoted by kills alone, so can't imagine that that should take any time longer. Yeah, we're going to get there when we have a bit more uh, soldiers available. Health plus one, mobility plus one. Here's another promotion, seven days. Soldier wounded, that's not a problem, uh, but we want the promotion. Because here's the deal, promotions mean I will get you back on track with your uh, with your group even faster. So a sniper, no, we, we got a sniper, that's fine. But we do not have a great grenadier yet, so might as well take um, Kellen here. There's a chance for a wounded soldier, but who cares? And promote him. There we go. You're welcome. Our newest addition is probably becoming a ranger, I would guess. Edgar Alien Poe becomes a ranger. Yep, who would have thought? Because we had the least amount of rangers in our team, and the AI usually gives you the class that's underrepresented just to balance your squad overall. Good job, Edgar is very helpful for the team. Guerrilla Tactics School, we do not have any more rookies, nor do we have any more money. Just out of curiosity, yeah, six more uh, days until beam weapon. And we theoretically got 144 more supplies waiting for us. Let's do the Alarium course first. Our Psy soldier gets more and more uh, great abilities. Inspire is a good ability. I like it. It's always nice to enable other soldiers to do something. And there is another facility. Fair enough. Got to deal with that sooner or later. Unsuccessful attempt for um, uh, for a sabotage. And that's exactly what I wanted to see. 100 and 100. That is absolutely fantastic. Another guerrilla ops mission is good for XP. And to cover, uh, to counter um, a further dark event. So the game is actually thinking that we are kind of in the rise and offers us, if we want, uh, we could get another mission going. And you know how I am. I'm not going to say no to that. So we got the supplies. Could get some more alloys. That's fine. Let's just double check if we have anything worthwhile as an upgrade. Weapon upgrades. A Celestial Gauntlet would be great, but we're missing. We, we need to wait until the next income. Plasma Lance is good. Shadow Lance is good. Yeah, all of those costs a ton. So maybe we want to expand. How about that? What's our continent bonus up here? Rapid collection. Uh, that will help us a ton. And if we were to make contact here, that would be 80 intel. You know, might as well do that. Commander, we have a line on the chosen warlock here. Located. We had reduced uh, contact costs. That's 240. We don't want to do that, but we could yeah, at some point build a radio relay here. Um, for now, we could um, assault this here. Put three blips of uh, the Avatar pro uh, project, making it very handle handleable. And whom can we take into this mission? Got a Ranger, got a Sharpshooter. Soon got our Reaper back, then the mission is um, easy anyways. Got Fatal back, three more days until those guys are done. Yeah, let's wait three more days and that would give us 
enough time to infiltrate. I think that's an excellent idea. In the meantime, let's gain some, uh, maybe an additional guerrilla ops. Could counter yet another dark event. And before we can even do any of that, there is reward. I don't. Th uh, he's called Lieutenant uh, Harry Tucker. I don't think that he's a lieutenant. I think he's going to be a colonel. Um, oh no! Wait a second. Maybe that was one of uh, the guys who got um, who got um, kidnapped during the um, entire run. Hmm. Difficult. Anyways, we. I mean, it's not optional. We need to do it uh, because elsewise we're going to lose this area here. But Codex, Heavy Mech, Elite Spectre, oh, quite a few pretty solid enemies. I think that's going to be our next mission, guys. Yet another VIP mission. Yeah, it's very difficult, meaning um, that I think the Assassin will show up. Yeah, the assassin will show up. Okay, cool. Uh, doesn't matter. We're going to do that the next uh, time. If you like what you've uh, seen and if you're happy with uh, saving your disaster campaigns, now is a good time to subscribe and like these videos. Um, I enjoy your feedback and uh, see you in the next run, guys. Bye-bye.